I really want people to understand just how effective science back driven pro biotic specific strain for specific purpose we are in. So looking at GI biome here, and it's a single strain, and we're looking at Lactobacillus plantarum, and it is a specific strain of that. This particular strain of bacteria and family of the plantarum has been so well studied that specific strains are for even decreasing histamines. And 299V is the strain that is in GI biome. This particular strain, which is LP299V, has had over 170 publications involving over 60 human trials, clinical trials with which there's data to show. And this particular strain is for leaky gut. And I'm going to, and you want to take one a day because in over 60 clinical trials, there was even one trial that says there was multiple trials that says this particular strain can survive stomach acid, can survive um, the bile that's from fat digestion. And number one, survivability of the strain. It is made to survive that strain. It loves to go through all of this and survive. You can even measure the other end. Number two, you can actually measure this even after you stop it on the lining of these cells in the mucous membranes. It loves to stick to the mucous membranes it, and it will, it will go stay. Number three is it actually helps the other good bacteria grow and improve their numbers. So that's one of the biggest problems with probiotics. I mean, I'm not even going to go and name it, but there is actually specific products that are like 5 billion, 10 billion colonies of literal shit. I don't care if you have 25 billion gazillion of uh, literal shit. I want you to get the specific strain for leaky gut here. And that's what's in GI biome is specific strain for specifically leaky gut.